we will take care of this in proper integral, the integral from 1 to infinity, ln x over x. And this integral is improper because we have this infinity right here. Notice that ln x over x, we do not have vertical asymptote anywhere from 1 to infinity. So this is the improper integral of type 1. Well, what we do? We just need to integrate this, enjoy our integrations, and then believe in your limits. Well, to integrate this guy, I will have to let u equals to ln x. And let's differentiate both sides. du will be the derivative of ln x, which is 1 over x, dx. I want to solve for dx, so multiply both sides by x. I will have dx equals to x times du. And then let me take this integral, and I want to work with this integral in the u world only. With that being said, this means we have x is equal to 1, right? But then in the u world, I have to make the change. If x is equal to 1 in the x world, that means I have to plug in 1 to here. u will be ln of 1, which then corresponds to 0 in the u world. So u will be ln of 1. So the beginning point right here will be 0. And then on the top right here, this means we have x is equal to infinity right there. Well, if x is infinity, ln of infinity is also infinity. So the top right here is u equals to infinity. So in the u world, this integral is still going to, is still going to be improper. All right? And then let's see. On the top right here, ln x is what we set it to be u. So we have u on the top. And then we have that over x. And then dx is the same as x times du. So we have x times du for dx. I just like to show you guys the cancellation. So this right here is going to be the integral from 0 to infinity. And I'm just looking at this as u du. That's all. And in fact, you can draw a conclusion right here already. This is going to be diverged. But then to finish this up, you are going to just integrate this guy, which is 1 half u squared, and then you go from 0 to infinity. And then what you do is you plug in infinity right here, you get 1 half, and then you have the infinity right here, square, and you subtract 1 half. You plug in 0 right here for the u, so you have 0, square. But then as I said, you can see it right here already. But then after you go through the, the computations for the integral, Infinity squared is infinity divided by 2 is still infinity. So this right here, it's infinity. So in other words, um, we're just going to say this diverges. So this right here will be the answer. Divergent integral.